there, it's me, Susan Blackwell, and I'm live on tape backstage at the 2012 Antoinette Perry Awards. But enough of my yakking. Let's meet some winners. Look, it's James Corden. Look what he's got. <laughs> Look what he won. How are you feeling? Was this totally mind f***y? It was a little mind f***y. Yeah. Yeah. So they call your name. Are you like mother f***? Like what goes through your mind? Blank. You just sort of go. Because you have to stand up and make a speech on national television. Yeah. Which you've done many times before. But no, come but on. You, you, you go. I went a bit blank. And then I so, you, turned to my daughter. You had Tony Fever. I did. I really yeah, Tony did. You float out of your body. As Steve Kazee said when he came back to his seat. What the f just <laughs> happened? <laughs> well, your first thing is please let them pronounce my last name right. What I'm, would be the alternate pronunciation? Everyone then says like Kaze or Kazi. Oh. So like it's happened so many times that that's my first reaction. And I thought if I'm going to lose this thing, please just say my name right. <laughs> there are people watching back home. And then she said it. And then I thought, hmm, awesome, she said my name right. And then I was just waiting for someone else to get up. And then I was like, did she just say my name again? She just said my really? name again. Really? It's nuts because, you know, because it's that pressure of like 90 seconds. You hear that. And yeah. so you feel like... 90 seconds could like Go, but like I want to run up there, but I, then yeah. I think I'm going to trip Maximize and fall over like Kelly O'Hara, and then that would be embarrassing. And then Bite like, a you know, and then trip over Laura Austin. And then trip, you know, like, I, 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 like in my head, it's like me tripping over people for 90 seconds and getting an up there and being like, thank you. you know? Then you just won a Tony. How do you feel? I feel like I'm in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> because I haven't eaten. And I just had like, why a didn't gallon you of eat? Seltzer. Wait, I wanted hold on one second. Let's just get the snack right now. We're gonna have a snack for you on camera. I don't want, oh, on camera? Here's the thing. Oh. I, I brought you a fork. I don't need a fork. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this so fast. No, Sorry. no, you can talk and eat. I can't. That's the kind of show we're running here. Now chew your food properly. Mm -hmm. no. Don't settle down. Somebody far more important than me is on their way over no, here. It, no, there's no one more important than you. Talk me through that warrior. moment when they're gearing up to call the names in your category and then they call your name and what goes through your mind? I just like, kissed my girlfriend, took a deep breath and walked up and then, you know, then you have to walk past the people you're nominated with. It's yeah, that's like, awkward. Well, no, Ooh. no, it's not awkward because it's, you're just, you go, oh, God, I would love to meet them, you know, like James L. Jones and Frank Lanchella. That'd be a way to use your 90 seconds. Sorry? You can use your 90 just seconds chat in to, that way. Just chat to Philip Seymour Hoffman and say, you're the Talk greatest actor alive. Talk about the craft. Alive. I got some really great advice. Who gave you that advice? Yeah. It was you and a friend of yours named Christian. Coulson. Who played. Lots of things, but in. you played Tom Riddle in Harry Potter. That's right. I don't want to be name drop your show <laughs> busy or anything. How dare you? Sorry. So we so ran into, into you on, on the street, street like last week. So Christian was telling me about uh, a habit that Russell Crowe has. It's Russell Crowe, correct? Which is that every time he's up for an award, when they go to say the name of the winner, he Getting turns ready. to whoever he is with and yeah. says something and is involved actively in a conversation right. so as to avoid that moment the reaction of shot. the reaction shot. That's right. And I'm sitting here watching, we're in the press room, and I'm watching on the monitor and I see Christian Borle fully take the advice and turn to your turn to your mom. So I turned to her and I said, whatever happens, either breathe or don't swear on television. Does your mom have a mouth like a she sailor? She's probably something? going to. If it was if it she went another way, like, she would have been she would have. Really? It would have gone viral oh, and it would have been Ball. amazing. You totally uh, gave a shout out to your love of Christopher Plummer. My first crush followed by the Fonz really. Yes. I was what Christopher, excellent taste you have. Christopher Plummer and then the Fonz. That runs the full spectrum. Well, you, you're telling me you didn't get a little something something when that well, was. <laughs> a little warmth in the pants from the old. Get your ass downstairs, kids. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is a dominant father figure. What's up? Did you prepare a speech? Did, were you winging it? You know, you better. I, uh, I didn't for the uh, drama desks. I didn't for the drama desks. How's, how's and I was really, I was really sorry. I, I, I asked my husband later. I felt like a blithering idiot, actually. I kind of winged it a little bit. Um, that's a word, winged. Um, winged it. Winged it. You winged it. I winged it. Sure. Um, kind of. I knew I wanted to thank my wife. I knew I wanted to thank my family. Did you proposition your wife in that acceptance speech? What was that? You mm -hmm. were all, hey, baby. And, uh, I'll be it, back to pick you up later. It, it, this now, microphone. She knows that'll happen anyway. <laughs> um, <I> <laughs> Somebody's getting lucky. <laughs> I did like bullet points, and I'm embarrassed because and I will say I because of my bullet pointness I completely forgot to thank Jeff Calhoun, and I'm just thank you, now. thank you Jeff. I, I mean it was the best collaboration ever, and I and I had like a whole little thing prepared, I can't and my head was spinning, to thank spinning, him. spinning, and I forgot, and I was like, oh my god, I got off stage, and I can't believe I just did that. Yeah. And I even had the piece of paper, but I wasn't looking. 
next time, I'll know better. <laughs> I think he did pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. But he's probably going to be pretty pissed. I know. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have to say too, like what's, what was really hard about preparing something to say is that uh, there are people that you want to thank. There are of people course. like Rick Ellis who wrote the play, who was one of the most beautiful thank human beings. Ever. I thank Rick Ellis. You're one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever known. I, I wouldn't that. be here without you. Roger Rees and Alex Timbers, who somehow came together and wrote this. Uh, directed this incredible play together and with one the mind. And two, the, the hair between the two of them is just it is. tremendous. You, have you ever run your fingers through either of their hairs? Absolutely. Head, the hair on their head. Uh, next question. It's super spinny Spin. and super shiny. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. Uh -huh. um, where are you going to put it? You broke your Tony. You broke my Tony. Where are you going to put it? Uh, I don't know. I just moved into a new apartment, so there's plenty of spots for it. I have, a, I have a crested gecko, and I might put it in his terrarium, and you can just kind of hang out with it. I wish you could get a tiny gecko-sized top hat for him, too, uh, and he could just already, be like, pimping at the Tonys. He's, he's already got one. Um, is, were there any people that were douchebags to you before you won this Tony that you'd like to settle the score with now? Oh, well, actually, I never won a Halloween costume contest, but especially in high school, I would spend hours like hand beating my fairy costume and I would take like um, plastic and like wire and make like, you know, fly wings. And the popular girl showed up in some like French made outfit. Oh, sure. Like, like you know, yeah. straight off Slutty the rack. Halloween like polyester. Yeah. yeah. And, Please um, no, she didn't win. She did win. What's her name? I don't remember. This one goes out to I don't remember. Yeah. Slutty French maid. Slutty French maid. Haha. -ha. I didn't even. How get... you like her now? Yeah, exactly. Now let's talk about what's the really important thing. Yes. Do you get a Tony winner gift bag of some sort? Well, everybody who goes to the gala will get a little gift bag. The presenters are the ones that get the really hot gift bag. Like. Oh What's yeah, yeah. They get they get the cars and you know cars. No. This is the time. But they get the, that's on. right. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, they get uh, they get they get the real stuff. Uh, oh, there'll be there'll be some wonderful shampoo that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Any lipsticks or blush, Aww. I'll keep. But I'll Trapeze give you mascara. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the I'll give you the Groupon. All my friends won tonight. Christian Borle, Michael McGraw, and I, I all did Spamala together. James Corden and I used to get drunk at Angus all the time together during Spamala. Nina Arianda and I went to the same school. It's like literally Audra and I did a little show called 110 of the Shade together. Amazing. So basically, like if you work with me, you will be infected with Tony Just juice. rub Steve's butt for good luck. <laughs> you won a Tony Award today. Yeah. What's the second best thing that happened to you today? Well, no, this is the second best thing that happened to me today. What was the first best? My son walked for the first time. Shut seven, up. Seven steps on my life. Shut I'm up. waiting for him to do it, and he stood up, and he just walked over, and me and my girlfriend went, ah! Being in the car with Will and the kids coming over here. Is that right? Yes, they were hilarious. Did you have a party in the car? They were just silly and hilarious and excited to be dressed up. And They looked so cute and, and sparkly. They look amazing. Yeah, they look and really even good. like Sawyer was holding up his little shoes going, I've got a heel, I've got a heel. It's only this much, but i got a heel. They were, and so. Well, was, Pam. What's the next best thing that happened to you today? Your next favorite moment of the day? I can't say, but after that, the hands. Um, so first it was the hands. Can't say. I can't say. Bloge. Uh, um, I don't. I can't. This is a. This, this is, this this is family show. Family show. That's not. Um, oh, I had, a, I had an amazing brunch this morning. Actually. Don't say a sex brunch. Yeah. A sex brunch. Sex brunch. Yeah. My wife's gonna kill me. I had an excellent, excellent triple espresso this morning. There you go. Iced. And you know what? The guy, he put another shot in there for me. He made it a quad. And he didn't even know. He, he didn't know. Tony he winner. doesn't know what happened with me. You have to go but back tomorrow, me. take your Tony. I'd be like, thanks, dude. Thanks for that. That's because of you, buddy. Thanks. You made that quad. You made this dream happen.